As soon as you start a new adventure in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you'll notice that you're pretty underleveled compared to most of the Pokemon around you. Seeing as you can go anywhere you want from the start, you're bound to run into some challenging battles at some point, so you'll want to be ready just in case. So that's why I've put together this video showing you how to level up your squad fast in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The first way to get a bunch of XP is by scavenging for as many XP candies as you can find. These will be in the form of regular items when you pick them up, and are actually a lot more common than you might think. They range from extra small all the way through to large, and can be a great source of fast level ups. I gave a few medium candies to my Rockeruff, and it flew up three levels. Alongside these candies, you can also find rare candies like in previous mainline games, and these work the same as they used to. Regardless of how much XP your Pokemon needs to get to the next level, it will level them up, but only by the exact amount. So if you do get your hands on some of these, make sure your Pokemon have only recently gone up a level to make full use of it. A good way to farm these XP candies is by taking part in the new Terror Raids that are dotted around Paldea. You'll be able to identify them very easily as they're shining crystal rocks that emanate light up into the air. For winning these, you get some XP candies amongst a few other items, so it's well worth doing as many as you can. Even if you're doing them alone, the game will spawn in some trainers for you to do them with, so you'll never find yourself struggling too much. Once you've farmed a bunch of these, you can then apply them in bulk, so even if you're only using small candies, they'll all add up. The second way is a little bit easier and less time consuming. We're going to be using the age old trick of farming poor old Chanseys for their copious amounts of XP. You can find Chansey in Northern Provenance number 3, which you can get to whenever you want, however it is a little bit later on in the game. Once you get there though, you can defeat as many as you like and farm a lot of XP. It's been used as a strategy for many generations now, and still works brilliantly. To be honest, it's even better in the later generations, as you have the XP share constantly on. So when you take down one Chansey, your whole team boosts up together. And now for the final method, which is by far the most basic and grindy, but it's definitely effective. Depending on who you have in your team, and who you want to gain the majority of the experience at the time, locate areas with Pokemon that match up well against them, preferably where that Pokemon spawns in herds too. For an example, when I was levelling up my Crocolore, I found huge areas where there were high spawn rates of Skiddo, and they were usually in groups, so I'd simply spam Incinerate and farm them for XP, which reading that back off a of script now sounds pretty horrific. Apologies Skiddo, but I will be doing it again. This flew my starter up in levels, making the first Titan Pokemon an absolute breeze. So if you're needing to train for a specific battle, just stick to the good old fashioned grind of wild Pokemon, but work smart rather than hard. Don't go and try and beat up loads of Pokemon that have super effective moves against you, as that would be very silly. While you are doing this, I may as well mention that you should be fighting all of the trainers you can as well. With the new feature making it so that you don't ever need to engage in trainer battles, it can be very easy to forget they're there. So always keep an eye out when you're travelling to get some free XP. If this video helped you out in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you'll want to watch this other video I've put on screen for you now.